was the I worked there. I worked there at the airplane factory. Uh huh. And she worked there too, but I met her in church. I didn't know how to work. Uh, she was working on night shift, and I was on day shift. But took her out. Ten or fifteen thousand people just I never see anybody. But she knew. <laughs> yeah. Well, she was, you know, went with it where they was going or something. But I never, I never saw her at church or, or school or work. So you met at the ward. Well, we met at the ward. When did you date Grandma before you asked her to marry you? Oh, about three months. We stayed there till 40, 43. Yeah, we moved in Cal. Oh, you moved to Cal. After we moved in, Brandon, uh, my baby, can my, uh, go. Beth has been quite sick, and so you came right her dad here. Her dad thought maybe she was better. She's back to California. She's going back out there in about fifty years. I'm so shy. Six. With the hopes of getting With medical help. help. Is that when her migraines all started and stuff? No, she had that. She, she, she about flunked. Junior high, she missed school, much school. Say hi. Because her, uh, anyway, her gym teacher wouldn't let him, wouldn't let her hold her back. Cause she said she knew what she'd gone through because she'd had the same thing when she was a girl. Did they ever figure out what it was? I took her from California to Mayo Brothers back east and Salt Lake to Tucson to doctors and whatnot. I lay to tell her that she worried too much. That's all she said. said. Maybe that's where I get it from. Here. Yeah, we had quite a quite a few quite a year out, two or three years out there in California uh, during the war. You couldn't uh, you couldn't drive around at night with your lights on the car. Why? They don't want to, you, we were out in the ocean. Oh, they didn't want to attract to right try right to like any anything any window that was on the west side of the oh, house. Wow. You had to pull the blinds at night to keep it down. Any Did you ever? Side. Was, were there ever any attacks? Uh, there weren't any yeah, in Hawaii. Yeah. They thought they had them one night. There was some airplanes flying over, but they were just garages. But uh, well, we didn't stop us from going there. We just turned. The, Park lights on, the way you go. What kind of car did you have? You have I had a 36 Ford. You know? Sedan, four door. Four door sedan. Just a used one. The next person in line. Drove it for a long time. What'd you do with it when you got. What, what happened to it? Well, I sold it. Bought it for three hundred and fifty dollars and drove it for six years and sold it for three hundred and fifty dollars. You did? Ooh. That's, that's Girl, a smart that thing to do. Wow. But I, you can't do that now. Oh. No. Yeah. What, what, car did, what car did you get after that? Forty-seven Ford. A what? Forty-seven Ford. Forty-seven Ford. Forty-seven Ford. Forty-seven Ford. Best car I ever had. Really? How long did you have that one? Oh, like three or four years ago. We had only been two years. So when did you start working for the Whiting Brothers and doing the lumber stuff? You worked at, that was in Fredonia, you did. right? Well, that was in, I started at 40, 46. Okay. What was your job? I did most everything. Really? Definitely the boss of the job. So, I mean, was it chopping down the trees? No, clearing I, didn't work, I didn't work out in the forest. I worked at the mill. Okay. And, uh, I, my main job was to keep the lumber moved out, and they get a pile so high, while well, they'd start another pile, I'd, I'd move, move that out in the yard. Uh, you guys then, have to move every log by hand? Did you have trucks and things? That... Had, we had trucks. We brought the trucks, hauled, hauled them in logs and the, the trucks. And were they just cut into two by fours mostly? Was I mean like anything, was it boards anything, and two things? Before, anything, two by fours to two by twelve. So mostly used for construction and stuff. Yeah, just construction work. Uh, I I was 
using my ma a machine to haul those numbers out. And so I was just, when these trucks would come in after work or something, I'd have to get on and load the trucks. At any hour of the day, you'd just be on calling. Oh, we had a good time up. You know, we, we Did you get along up, with all your in-laws? We lived up at Jacob that? Lake there at the sawmill. We lived there, right at the sawmill. Up there in the woods. And That's pretty. It was nice. And a deer all the way around us. And nice, fresh air. It was cold in the winter, though. Yeah. But we, we closed up in the wintertime. We couldn't, we couldn't work in the winter. Did you guys get snowed in? Like, was there a lot of snow through there and you get snowed in and stuff? Did you move someplace else for the winter? Well, we first winter we come down here and stayed here with Grandma and Grandpa Wadiwa. And the second winter, well, we got us a house here in Fredonia. Mama? The last two or three years, I, I uh, used to go down the woods and the woods and measure the logs. Guy would, the guys would fall, fall a tree, and then they'd put a mark on it. They got, they, everybody had their own mark on the bottom. That mark, and I know who what, who cut that, and so I had in my book that number, that, that mark, and how many I'd have to measure the tree, how many feet there was in it, and they was, they was paid paid by what, uh, what I had added up for them. And that was quite a job. I was out in the woods all the time and all day. Did I have any run-ins with yeah. bears or uh, properties are now worth like millions of dollars, those little apartments. You would look down scamming on the women? Is that what you did? <laughs> no, we were a little too far for that. Oh. Binoculars. Didn't you have a telescope? I didn't have any at that time. Oh. How long did we you... were good kids. Oh, I know it. I know it. <laughs> you know it. Well, I do. I'm I know you. you. I'm glad you know it. I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> oh, oh this was shit. pressure. Hi, you feel boring. better? Can you put the sneaky away? Why? You're enjoying the car, are <laughs> We had that every at least Thursday night. We had a car park. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know you liked to sing. Mark, 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 Kids, I kid, 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 do you have a hat as part of your outfit? No. Do you have a wedding picture in there? Um, Where were you married? Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You were sealed in the meat. No, no. We come up here when it's all over. Oh. So did your families all come? Was it a quiet wedding? I didn't have any family out there when I got married. This is one that always, always kids. He works in this little ranch out in California. He was in the San Fernando Valley. He was in an orange factory. He could all pick up little oranges and bring them home and cut them up in pieces with the sheep did. This is a little old brownie camera that we had. That I had given to you. What was that again? He was a chubby baby. Yeah. <laughs> a kid. There, Maybe that's where you could get their first, white faces. There's the, you know. there's the first time I've been on the horse right now. Oh, cute. cute. Look, it's Grandpa. Oh, that's your a, Grandpa. He's on a horse. You think a baby should be riding a horse? No. That's a cute picture. Exactly.